Hello my beautiful Taurians and Tauruses and welcome to your general reading. So today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, okay? So just take what resonates, switch the genders, switch the roles, um, take what resonates and leave the rest or right? something is like randomly in my eye, oh, honestly. Okay, um... If you'd like to book a personal or for anything else, it's down below. Um, so I apologize, Taurus, because I kept on hearing Taurus, 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 because I was thinking, who do I want to do next? Water or earth signs? I thought I just done earth signs. I'm going to do water signs. And then um kept hearing Taurus. I was like, why do I keep hearing Taurus? So I thought, let me just go and check the last time I done you guys. And I've just realized I didn't do you guys a love reading. I done cappuccinos twice by accident. So I'm going to do you a love reading after this, okay? So I apologize, I forgot about you, okay? So someone may um, forget to kind of message you or speak to you or somebody may have overlooked you for something. So I feel like somebody's going to apologize, okay? Somebody done something completely by accident or by mistake. Or someone made a mistake, they got something mixed up or they got something confused or they confused you for someone else completely okay because capricorn energy and taurus energy is completely different so i feel like somebody like completely mis mis mistook you for someone or they just got you confused with someone else okay so i'm getting i apologize or i'm so sorry taurus okay so i'm so sorry so anyway let's see so what is your overall energy so this is general this is your general reading but anything can come out so let's see the overall energy we have beautiful because i was getting that gorgeous we have oh so happy yeah because i was i felt really happy this morning when i woke up and i kept on hearing taurus so that was all for you taurus and then oh we have oh so perfidious at the bottom of the deck however oh so aroused oh so unfortunate okay so with these two energies yeah so like i was getting in the beginning now perfidious i mean you know i'm sure you guys know what that means but it's basically an untrustworthy person or somebody who's like a cheater or a liar okay so i feel like you're happy to find out maybe that you thought somebody was perfidious you thought somebody was cheating or lying or keeping something from you you're going to be happy to find out that you got it all wrong or someone thought that about you so that's what I was getting in the beginning, like, you know, mixed you up with Cappy energy, okay? So I feel like there was like a mix up here. So I feel like you're just like, oh my God, I knew it. I knew that wasn't right. Or I knew they wouldn't do that to me. Or I knew that this situation, you know, for some of you as well, maybe you're going to be happy to find out like that you caught someone in the act, okay? There could also be somebody around you that's plotting to do something because that they can see you happy, you know, carefree, unbothered. So somebody could be trying to plan um, to do something or to set you up with the oh so arouse that like maybe somebody is planning to kind of like tease you or beguile you in beguile you in some type of way like seduce you is the word i'm looking for but i'm not getting that because yeah i was getting a really happy feeling okay so i feel like you're happy and maybe somebody else isn't because they feel caught up okay but like i said i feel like somebody got something totally wrong here okay so it's almost like a sense of relief like you know Oh, thank goodness. Okay, it's almost like taking a lie detector test and like you pass because you know you're not a fucking liar, you know. And the other person is like, oh, well, thank God. It's like, well, I've been trying to tell you. So, yes, yeah, so I feel like you're happy to know that somebody was telling the truth or you're happy to know that your name has been cleared, okay, in a situation. Because, yeah, I feel like someone got something wrong, okay. So, let's just see where this is going for my beautiful Taurus. So, what is your message? Okay, so we have Arcane that wanted to come out. It says, not all needs to be revealed. Keep them wanting more. Okay, and then we have self-love at the bottom of the deck, which says, all that love you've been dishing out to everyone, save some for yourself. So, that came up in the collective reading yesterday. So, yeah, I feel like for some of you as well, you are withdrawing your energy because I feel like there's maybe somebody around you that you don't trust. This could be someone that's always accusing you of doing something, but really it's them. Okay, so I feel like you're giving yourself self-love. You're just focusing on yourself and you just feel so good, Taurus. I just feel like you feel good because... um. There's no mystery. There's no like trying to figure something out. You could be dealing with your opposite sign, Scorpio. You're just like, I cannot be done with you. Like, because I feel like your energy is completely different to someone else. 
someone is about lying and deceiving and manipulating and tricking people like someone enjoys that i feel like you don't so i feel like you have withdrawn your energy because you you just want to be happy and go lucky and at peace okay you just want to be venusian so i feel like now you have become the mystery okay without trying to be is what i'm getting okay now like i said for some of you if you thought that somebody was hiding something from you or something like that you're going to be happy to find out that um, it's either you were right or somebody got something all wrong with the arcane, okay? Because something is real mysterious, you just don't know what's going on, okay? But I'm getting that you're enjoying your privacy. I feel like you're keeping something to yourself. You're not sharing things with people because you just realize that you're happier that way, okay? And that's okay. So gorgeous energy. So yeah, maybe you've, re you know, you've just stopped giving your love. I feel like you need to do that. In order for something to be clear, you know what I mean? You need to do that. Because I feel like you're a happy person, you're a loving person, and someone else isn't, or somebody else just likes to accuse you, or somebody wants to make you seem like the villain so bad, and you're just like, okay, darling. Well, I'm going to take my Oshun energy somewhere else, and let's see how you do, okay? Because I feel like, you know, you're not the problem. Okay, so self-love. So you're practicing self-love and self-respect. So beautiful energy, Taurus. As well, I feel like, you know, it's very important for people to respect you. Because, you know, you will respect and devotion. So I feel like you're done with, like, disrespect. Because I always get that with the self-love card. It's just like, I'm a Taurus. I need just respect, devotion, honor, commitment. You ain't trying to do that? Skedaddle. Goodbye. I'll be happy somewhere else or with someone else. So beautiful energy, Taurus. Oh, I don't think someone liked that. Okay, yeah, we got create beautiful. And then we got momentum at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, and you see how it says manifest there? This card talks about forward movement. You're going forward. You're sailing off, okay? For some of you, you could be getting a new car or you're traveling or something like that, okay? But I feel like you're moving forward and you're focused on your creativity, whatever that is to you, okay? There's so many different forms of create of um, creativity, okay? But I feel like for some of you, it's definitely to do with like arts, painting. I'm getting spray paint. For some of you, you could actually be doing something outside, like creating some kind of mural. Maybe you're doing this at home on your wall, okay? But I feel like you're putting something together. You could be decorating something as well. But I feel like that's what you do in your spare time or when you go ghost. Like, what are you doing? Are you lying? Are you cheating? Are you stealing? Bitch, I'm creating. Bitch, I'm designing. Bitch, I'm making. Bitch, I'm sculpting. Just because you don't have no talent and you're not creative and you can't think of anything to do in your spare time but fucking look at other people doesn't mean we all do that, darling. Some of us like to exercise our gifts that the divine gave us. <laughs> I'm also getting the proof is in the pudding as well because I feel like when you, when you are alone and you're to yourself, you're able to focus on what it is that you're working on and then and then it um you you display it. So it's like, oh my goodness, you've done so much stuff and you're just like yeah because this is what i've been doing like you know what i mean so like i said somebody has got you all wrong i always say like people who are not creative or they lack talent don't understand people who do they are very suspicious over like people who um you know because when you're somebody that's creative it doesn't matter what like i said what type of creativity you do you it's imperative that you have like your own space or maybe you take long periods of time like not responding okay especially if you're someone to respond to someone quickly it's like i'm designing i'm creating or i'm performing and i'm still making time for you you know so somebody's like not appreciating that okay but you're working on something now for some of you if this is something to do with your creative projects it's saying don't tell anyone i'm hearing don't tell them just show them so you don't have to prove anything it's like let people think whatever the fuck they want to think people are crazy as fuck out here People like, like like to think that they're so right about something or they're so on point. It's like, I'm the one that's in tune with nature, darling. Not you. <laughs> so just go off, do what you have to do, and then come back. Come back with a bang, show people what you've been making. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like you make things look easy. And if you make something look easy, people think that it's easy to do. But then it's like, okay, well, you try and do it then. I'll wait. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. You're going to be very happy to find um, 
with not to find out something you're going to be very happy with the development of something as well so if you are creating something um you're going to get like a really great response there could be people that want to steal your ideas as well or steal your creations but you know that's why i always say especially if you're an artist make sure that you copyright everything okay register it brand your stuff even if you don't plan on selling anything brand it because if anybody tries to copy you you can sue them okay so gorgeous energy okay yeah, we have I am intelligent that wanted to come out. Okay, beautiful. And then at the bottom of the deck, yeah, I know my worth. You guys always get this, and that's what I'm getting. You know your worth underneath that I am a queen or I am a king, for those of you who are guys that are watching this. Okay, exactly. You know your worth and you know your value. Okay, and the price is going up, especially if you are creative. It's like this is how much it is. If you can't afford it, I don't know what to tell you. I'm a luxury if you can afford. Okay, get your money up, darling. Okay. Or learn how to do shit yourself, okay? So beautiful energy. So your worth and your value is increasing because you are not very... You're not easily accessible to people. Or maybe something you're doing is not easy for everybody to get their hands on and you like it like that, okay? You like being... Um, exclusive is what I'm hearing. And with the I am intelligent, you know exactly what you're doing, Okay? For some of you, you're smart and creative, which is a beautiful thing to have or beautiful thing to be, okay? Somebody else got that in one of their readings, but I can't remember who it was. It could have been cappuccinos because I feel like I've done them so many times. Um, but yeah, so for some of you, you could be, um, I feel like you're inventing something. Maybe you're mixing um, intelligence with art or something like that. You could be like, um, maybe you're writing a book and designing the cover or something, along those lines okay i also feel like you're studying something okay you could be reading studying writing or you're just very wise okay i'm also getting with the oh so perfidious it's like somebody keeps trying to outsmart you and you're just you're just like you don't even see it because you're focused on something else Okay, somebody's behind you like, ah, ha, 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 I'm smarter than you. And you're just like, okay, do I care? No, okay. You're just not bothered. I feel like somebody like thinks that they're really smart and they're really, you know, amazing. And just, I don't know. I just feel like you just don't care. You're just, just, your back is turned to something beautiful, magical, vibrant, and colorful. You are focused on doing something or working on something. You are moving on or moving forward. So I'm getting like shade behind your back. I feel like people are like talking about you. And you're just like, you either don't know or you just don't care or both. I just feel like you just don't care. You just, you don't want to be angry and suspicious and vengeful. Because, you know, you're just tired of attracting that type of energy. Or you're tired of being around people like that. You're just like, I want to be happy. Okay, this is my energy. I like to be peaceful and happy. And if you don't see that or you can't accept that or you can't um, appreciate that, then goodbye and good day. You know what I mean? Honestly, good for you, Taurus. Okay, I'm looking for the... um. Oh, I'm looking for my tarot deck. My, where the fuck is my tarot deck? Okay, so this is for my beautiful Taurus. Let's just see. So I feel like a lot of people are practicing self-love these days because it keeps coming out. So I'm very proud you guys understood the assignment. Yeah, the nine of wealth, the nine of pentacles, okay? Self-made, self-abundant, self self-efficient, by yourself, looking good, feeling better. Okay, so let's get the tarot out. This is for my beautiful Taurus. I'm also getting as well, because you don't reveal a lot, you don't say a lot, People think that you're stupid. Like, people have no idea how intelligent you really are. Especially if you're creative. I've, I've always found that people always think that people who are creative are dumb. And I just I just don't understand why. Like, I just found that really strange. But I feel like, you know, with the arcane energy, you don't reveal everything that you know. You just, maybe you don't feel the need to. Okay? So people think that you're naive or they're just they're just clueless on the information that you know because you just don't feel like sharing or you just don't share. Or maybe you're never, never given the opportunity to share, okay? So yeah, it's just like, okay, well, they don't say this or they don't speak on that, so they're probably dumb or they don't know. Okay, keep thinking that. <laughs> I feel like you don't care. If, you, if somebody thinks that they're smarter than you or they think that you're stupid, I feel like you just don't care. That is somebody, that's a sign of wisdom, not having to try and prove, 
okay, you know what? I need to prove to this person how smart I really am. Let people think what they want. Like, honestly, you know, um, that demonstrates that you have the intelligence that's closest to that of a dolphin because dolphins use 100% of their brain or nearly 100% of their brain, okay? Um, we've used way less than that. Um, so I, but dolphins understand, it's in my book, I have to go and get it, but I'm not getting up now, I've only got knickers on, okay, but dolphins understand that, um, they have like awareness, they understand that things, they, how can I say, they allow something to happen, you know, like let nature run its course, you are, you rule nature, so I feel like you understand that something is going to happen, so just, you just let it happen, you're just patient, you just allow something to just um, unfold naturally or develop naturally because that's what dolphins do like for example if a dolphin sees that one of the dolphins are going to like get attacked or something's going to happen to them they don't try to save them because they just have an, a knowing they have an understanding like you know i'm just going to allow that to happen because it's just do you know I, mean? I don't know how to explain it because in the book it says it like really like you know they articulate very articulate it very well but they just have an awareness and an understanding that things are supposed to happen so they don't intervene basically they're intelligent enough to know like i'm not going to get involved in that you know whereas like humans for example if they see that someone's going across the road and a car's coming your instinct will kick in like oh shit i need to go and save that person but a dolphin will just let it happen they're just like yeah you know because they understand consequence, they understand cause and effect, they just are aware, they understand that everything needs to happen, they don't, they don't intervene, okay, so I feel like that's the mindset that you have right now, it's just like, I'm not even going to try and convince or prove or nothing, I'm just going to focus on being happy, because I have an understanding, maybe you know someone's future, or you know someone's fate, or you just have foresight, maybe you saw something coming, you knew that how something was going to play out, so you're just like, yeah, you know, and it is what it is, okay? Yeah, judgment. You are a great judge of character, Taurus. Okay? And you're answering your calling right now. Okay? I also feel like someone is going through judgment and you just understand that. You're just letting it happen. Because like I said, I feel like somebody judged you wrong in the beginning. Like somebody misjudged you. Somebody got something completely wrong about you. Or somebody done something to you because they thought you done something to them. Somebody's going to face judgment for that. So you don't have to worry. Okay. I also feel like for some of you, maybe you called someone out on your bull their bullshit. But because this is on top of the arcane, I feel like it's saying don't you don't need to say anything. The ethers are like, let us take control. You know, my mom always used to say, um, oh, wait, what, what was I saying that she used to say? Or she says, should I say? um leave all vengeance to god my mom like always used to say that when i was growing up leave all vengeance to god so i feel like that's what you're doing it's like i'm not i'm not scorpionic i'm not trying to like seek vengeance and seek you know war and people who hurt me and trying to get them back or do tit for tat that's not me like i feel like you try to call people out on things because you want to like um it's almost like you're trying to save someone because you know, the judgment card you know talks about resurrection and like you know it's like that rapture energy like, who's, who's been following the rules, okay? Who are we about to save and bring back to life? Who deserves a second chance? Maybe you're in control of somebody's future, somebody's fate, and they don't really understand that. You could have a lot of Libra energy. Is what I want to say. But I feel like somebody wants a second chance because there's something about you that someone got wrong or somebody thought you were keeping something from them. You were keeping them in the dark about something. So I feel like somebody's facing judgment or somebody's judging themselves, okay? Or somebody's going to like... um. Someone is like seeing you for who you really are. So somebody's like judging you once again. Like they're using discernment. And logic with the intellect card, this could be what you're doing. And it's like, wow, Taurus really is just a creative person that just likes to be happy and focuses on shit. Because I feel like someone is like, like I said, they're seeing your worth and their, your value right now. Or somebody has found out something really kind of like esoteric about you. And um, especially with the I am a queen at the bottom of the deck or underneath. 
Look at that underneath. We got I am happy. So this is what I'm saying. I feel like this is your energy. Or again, this could be someone else's, but I feel like this is you, Taurus. Someone is understanding that about you. So yeah, I feel like someone got something so wrong, man. <laughs> uh, uh, it is what it is. The lovers, yeah. This could be somebody that you were supposed to be with. Yeah, underneath that, the five of passion. Somebody was at war. It's almost like someone wished for you. And they either cheated, to, lied on you, portrayed you in some type of way, or this person thought this about you, you know, or maybe there was somebody around you just trying to create chaos or something, okay? But, you know, there's love here. I feel like the divine chose you for something. I also feel like you are the chosen one. I feel like your masculine energy and your fem feminine energy is balanced within each other. They're in sync within each other, with one another. But I feel like, yeah, you're just happy and you're in love or you're focusing on love, like, or things that you love to do. Okay, but I also feel like, like I said, somebody now sees your worth. So this could be this person, could be a Gemini that wants a second chance. Okay, with you. Because they have come into clarity about something, okay. There's like a Leo here that was trying to cause some kind of drama. This also could be saying that nobody compares to you, like I choose you, all these other bitches are the same. Or somebody has like several different personalities or several different faces, okay? Or that there's like so much energy around you that's a time to attach itself, but you're just completely unaffected. Because that's what I'm getting, I feel like other people around you are angry, they're bitter, they're trying to compete or argue or very mentally conflicted. And you're just like, yeah, well, that's not me. Honestly, this is you, the lovers. You like to be loving and carefree and happy and dev and I feel like you're very devoted to someone. I feel like when you're in love, it's like you're inseparable. Like nothing can take you away from this person. Nothing can shift your energy. No one can lure you or tempt you. No one can arouse you. I feel like the other person you're dealing with has a wandering eye. Not especially if they're a Scorpio. They got Scorpio placements. Not you though. You're okay, but I feel like somebody wants another chance with you because you're of divinity and that's just what the fuck it is, okay? So I'm very interested to see what your love reading is going to be about, okay? So that is, no, that's not it. I'm looking for, um, is it in here? Yeah, I'm looking for your important message, guys, what you need to know. Sorry, I don't have all my decks out. So this is for my beautiful Taurus. Yeah, stop with the petty games. It won't end well. You're obsessing. Calm the fuck down. And um, you need to face your fears, okay? So I feel like someone needs to face you. Because like I said, someone's going through judgment right now. I feel like somebody was very petty or they thought you were very petty or, you know, because you know when someone thinks that you're playing mind games or you're petty, so then they, they try to one-up you or they try to top you. Like, I could be real nasty, you know. If you're going to play games, I could be real. Well, be nasty because that's who you truly are, a nasty person, whereas I'm not. So, you know, it's like you give someone the, like, because again, that scorpionic energy, someone just like, they get real fueled when they think that something mischievous or dark is going on it's like yeah i'll show you and it's like no show the divine show judgment okay yeah i feel like somebody's obsessing about something and they just got something completely wrong or maybe somebody they 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 realize what they done was out of order so now they're obsessed and they're just stressing like someone has a lot of anxiety but like i said i don't feel like it's you i feel like you're happy go lucky taurus okay <laughs> This may make you very happy to know that someone is facing judgment. You're like, finally. Because I feel like somebody keeps getting away with being disrespectful towards you or keeps getting away with accusing you of things or just keeps getting away with shit. You're just like, how is this person surviving? Like, how are they not learning their lesson? Why are they not just acting loving towards me? Like, what, what is this? So I feel like you're just focused on something else. It's almost like now you're not focused on something or someone. It's like now they want you or now that all of this love is trying to surround you, okay? Like someone's trying to feed your mind with like love. Because I feel like you were really devoted to someone. Or maybe you really wanted to create something with someone. I feel like you share your art, you share your ideas. You're just a sharing and giving person. Somebody else isn't. 
they like to keep things to themselves and because that's how they are they think that that's how you are and like i said someone just got you all wrong taurus okay they got you all wrong and now they want to make things right <laughs> Anyway, we're going to leave it at that. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the reading, please don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to go on and do your love reading now. Bye.